Hello everyone, my name is Danny, and this review is for the movie called Don't Worry, He Won't Get Far on Foot. Don't Worry, He Won't Get Far on Foot. John Callahan has a lust for life, a talent for off-color jokes, and a drinking problem. When an all-night bender ends in a catastrophic car accident, the last thing he intends to do is give up drinking. But when he reluctantly enters treatment with encouragement from his girlfriend and a charismatic sponsor, Callahan discovers a gift for drawing edgy, irreverent newspaper cartoons that develop an international following and grant him a new lease on life. Based on a true story... This poignant, insightful, and often funny drama about the healing power of art is adapted from Callahan's autobiography and directed by two-time Oscar nominee Gus Van Sant. So, this is a 2018 film, rated, uh, rated R. It runs 114 minutes, and it stars Joaquin Phoenix, Jonah Hill, Rooney Mara, and Jack Black. And there's actually a couple extra people in here that you'll kind of recognize. So, uh, the first thing I'll just say is thank you for watching this video, anybody who does. This is my first video review for 2019. The movie is called Don't Worry, He Won't Get Far on Foot. And I just kind of got introduced to this movie by researching the way I research and I came across my availability list and I have it and I watched it and uh, so I don't know uh, much else about that and uh, it's not like I was wanting to watch this movie it just kind of came up on my to watch list so we'll start with that but thank you again happy new year this is my first one this is uh Gonna be fun. First, first one of 2019. Uh, the first thing that just blew me away, uh, right in the beginning credits that it has, is the great cast in this movie. Like, I'm just so, I'm always so surprised when an offbeat, you know, behind the scenes kind of movie like this gets introduced to someone like me that watches so many movies, and it has such a great cast. It's like I've never heard of it. Never heard if it was in theaters, you know, didn't get heard it, didn't hear that it got made. And then all of a sudden I'm watching it, it has this great cast. I'm like, man, you know, something like this should have been theaters. You know, I don't know if it was or not. I mean, it's just really something else, you know. And so it was a pleasant surprise right off the bat, that's for sure. Uh, great acting by everybody involved. Uh, there were some kids that were just the smallest little bit of story, but they had the right kind things to say to uh the paraplegics so uh yeah just pleasantly surprised across the board the the cast that they got to go along with this movie the acting done by the big stars and the smaller cast just all across the board impressed um it is very real uh and I was like just shocked as it kept going and going and going. Uh, the drinking's a real big problem of this movie. It's kind of the main plot. So if that's something that, you know, is rubbing you the wrong way or it's too much real in your own life, just maybe, you know, this would be too heavy for you, to be honest. And uh, it's brutally honest. Uh, the people that are have gone through the 12-step program before – they have some good arguments, they have some episodes, they yell at each other, they use cuss words uh, sporadically, not too much, I would say. Uh, you know, I can handle a lot of cussing, but this one didn't have that much, not as much as I thought it should have, you know, for people going through what they were going through. Um, so, I think it was a, just a nice, you know, balance of everything. That's what I'll say with that. Um, the one little thing that I'll mention is that the title of the movie, it's obviously original and everything, but, uh, it gets named that supposedly because of one little cartoon that Callahan does. 
So I am always a sucker for wanting the title of your movie to be a little bit more important in the movie. You know, some you know, somebody calls their movie, uh, you know, Blue Butterfly, and you know it's all about symbolism or something, and I just don't get it. You know, so this one had an original title, but it, you know, he just kind of mentions it in one little cartoon that he does, and I get the symbolism and everything, but I, I guess I would have liked to have somebody mention that later in the movie about him you know and how that cartoon was all about him something you know i mean i just don't like it all to be suggested uh there are touchy subjects uh with the drinking with the you know uh i, I won't mention everything and give everything away but people getting sick and stuff like that so uh it does get very inspirational it does have its good feel good moments it um, almost makes you cry at the end, and uh, it just is a good drama. It's good storyline and everything. It gets a little heavy with the talking, uh, just like people just sitting around talking. I, I didn't mind it for most of the movie, but after about an hour, I kind of looked at the time and I said, well, okay, they're still sitting there talking, and it was important stuff you know i mean jonah hill and phoenix their they, their characters have a lot to talk ab about that's important it's just kind of gets old that they're just sitting there talking about it after a while uh there's one thing that gets uh not finalized the way that the crowd wants it to and i think it's fine it's just upsetting that i it didn't get finalized um some people's health uh, you kind of wonder about, and a couple people get addressed by the end of the movie, but not all of them. And so I would have liked a little bit more, uh, you know, transparency there. There's a lot of unnecessary stuff in this movie. You know, there's a scene of Jonah Hill dancing, you know, and answering the phone and talking about something that they've talked about about five times already. And I understand, you know, for. Anybody that's gone through uh, Alcoholics Anonymous, AA, uh, that it's very important for repetition, you know, for people to tell you things over and over again until you get in, you go through the 12 steps and everything. But in a movie, it just kind of, to a normal movie watcher, it just seems a little redundant and a little bit overkill, and you get tired of hearing the same things over and over again. And... To be honest, for anybody just wanting to watch this movie to see what it's like, uh, it, this is very inappropriate uh, right away. And then some of the touchier subjects might be really, really hard for you to hear. Uh, it's not exactly what you want to hear in, in a movie. And if you have any life experience with it whatsoever, it's going to be very hard to watch. It's going to probably make you cry. I almost did at the end. I just... I just didn't feel the need to. It's sad, but it's not, you know, it doesn't hit home with me. And it's going to hit home with a lot of other people. So I I have to sit back and think of this as a movie. And it was the true story and everything. But um, I didn't know that, you know, and until I finished watching the movie, to be honest. Because I didn't know anything about this. I went into it very fresh. So I thought it was just a story. I thought it was a good story. I thought the acting was tremendous. I think this is one of, uh, this is like fresh air for Phoenix, who has been kind of in some weird movies, some bad movies, especially in 2018. So for him to turn it around and end the year with this, it's amazing. Uh, I very much appreciate that for him. And I, you know, have always liked him ever since I knew he could sing. So uh, I would recommend this to people to watch and obviously give a chance to because it's obviously a smaller market film that probably nobody's heard of and it has this long name but uh i would not want to watch this again and that's where it falls in the lines for me so i'm going to give it a b uh kind of leaning towards b plus but it's a b movie and uh i would recommend seeing it so give it a chance if you have a night free and you can handle the heaviness of it. Otherwise, uh, thank you guys so much. My name is Danny 
And uh, if you like this or my other videos, try and give some of them a watch. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. And again, welcome to 2019. Let's go on a ride together and enjoy movies, guys. Thanks.